Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys about eye creams. Why you may need an eye cream, who would benefit from using an eye cream, how to select an eye cream for your concern, and then recommending some of my favorite eye cream products. My name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So eye creams are creams specifically designed for the skin around our eyes. So usually under the eyes, above the eyes, as well as the latter part of our eyes that are more prone to the development of fine lines, wrinkles, or what we call crow's feet. Now, eye cream is one of those products that is a nice to have item, but certainly not necessary. And not everyone needs an eye cream. Certainly if you're just in your teens and early twenties and don't have any particular concerns you need to address around your eyes, then you certainly don't need to be spending money on eye cream unless you want to. And it's part of your you know, self care routine. There are a handful of individuals that will benefit from, from using the eye cream. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, why may you need an eye cream? Well, first and foremost, the eyelid skin is the thinnest skin on the body. It is less than 0.1 millimeters thick and a lot more susceptible to damage such as irritation, ultraviolet radiation. And because of this delicateness, it is going to be less tolerant of the traditional products that we may normally put on our skin. As I mentioned earlier, if you have no issues, the moisturizers are really all you need around your eyelid. So for certain concerns around the eyelid, eye creams may be more helpful. And certainly if you have very sensitive skin and because the eyelid skin is already delicate, Eye creams are in general formulated for the sensitive area of the eyelid. So usually the ingredients, even when they do have active ingredients, often going to be tested for the skin around the eyelid and usually better tolerated than a regular cream that it's designed to be used on the face. So what are some of the common eye concerns that we commonly see? Dark circles, puffiness, fine lines or wrinkles, as well as dryness, flaking, and irritation. Now, often there are a lot of causes to these complaints. For example, dark circles can can be genetic, can be hereditary. Some people's eyelid skin is just slightly thinner than others. The blood vessels underneath are a little bit more obvious. On top of that, you add in maybe poor night's sleep, maybe salty food that may cause some puffiness around the eyes, some vascular congestion. It can all lead to dark circles as well as puffiness. Certainly aging is one of the biggest contributors to these concerns. Aging with the shift of our bone, the fat on our face, as well as with gravity, things will just become more pronounced. And one of the signs of aging is manifested around their eyes in the forms of crow's feet, puffiness, as well as dark circles. Obviously, everyone have different concerns about the skin around the eyelid, but certainly if those are the most common concerns and if you do have them, using the eye cream can help in improving those concerns. Also keep in mind that a lot of these concerns aren't fully addressed with eye creams. Certainly eye creams can be helpful, but often the results are best seen when combined with the right cosmetic procedure. For example, sometimes Fillers can be helpful in camouflaging the dark circles. Fillers can also be helpful in addressing some of the volume changes on our face and thereby indirectly reducing the appearance of puffiness and dark circles. Sometimes laser can even be helpful. And of course, if you have a medical condition that is causing the underlying darkness, seeing a dermatologist to have those addressed is gonna be really key and really the first step in treating the dark circles and getting rid of the hyperpigmentation. When you're shopping around for eye creams, you often see kind of the similar ingredients over and over again often formulate together to target those concerns. Ones are effective for addressing fine lines, wrinkles, and puffiness due to age-related changes would be the retinol, peptides, certain growth factors, as well as other antioxidants that again are going to work together in modestly improving those concerns. If you suffer from dark circles purely because of discoloration without any sort of underlying issue, then brightening ingredients like like for example, niacinamide and vitamin C may be helpful. Puffiness, again, it can be, as I mentioned earlier, multifactorial, but if it's due to puffiness because you slept poorly and you had a bag of chips before nighttime, certain eye creams with ingredients that help to vasoconstrict, like caffeine, can be helpful in temporarily reducing that puffiness. And then again, ingredients like hyaluronic acid and ceramides are more hydrating and helps to plump and improve that dryness flaking, as well as appearance of 
fine lines that will commonly occur with dry skin around the eyelid. And lastly, because our eyelid is super prone and much more susceptible to sun damage, wearing sunscreen around the eyelid is going to be really, really important. For some individual sunscreens, depending on the formulation, may cause irritation or may burn. Again here, maybe consider mineral formulations, consider sunscreens that are a roller that you can apply because those usually are easier to apply and usually won't as readily slip into your eye to cause irritation. Regardless, you want to find the right formulation, the right product of sunscreen, and you want to use that consistently because with everywhere else on our skin, photo protection is first and foremost the most important. Okay, now let's jump into my favorite eye creams and I have a slew of them from various price points. I'm going to start off with the ones that really address fine lines and wrinkles and along with that, some of the puffiness that may develop with aging. First one I want to talk about, Rock's Retinol Correction Eye Cream. This retails for roughly $28, relatively affordable compared to some of the other ones on the market. Really like this one because it has a blend of retinol. And I mentioned earlier about Rock, their retinol formulation is well researched, well studied. They have over 25 patents and many, many years of research on the retinol formulation. So certainly this is one that we know works really well. Retinol is has been shown to improve fine lines and wrinkles and this one is formulated in a very gentle way that for the most part I find it to be very tolerable. Also contains panthenol vitamin B that's soothing and hydrating as well as zinc and copper minerals that will help again overall with improving fine lines, the puffiness and tone of the eyelid skin. So the next retinol eye cream that I really like that is more hydrating and nourishing is from Glow Recipe. Your avocado melt retinol sleeping eye mask which retails for about $42. This is a really nice one because it's very nourishing and rich. It's got encapsulated retinol, so more stabilized, slower release retinol, along with a niacinamide and coffee berry that will help to work together with the retinol to repair the skin, but also helps to brighten at the same time to improve fine lines, wrinkles, and also help to brighten. I love this one because it's super nourishing and hydrating. Even though it's an eye mask, which in my mind, I think of only using it a few times a week. You can use it nightly. And I would say this is because it's so nourishing. It's probably something that you will only want to use at night. And that is why it's a sleeping mask. Certainly you could use it during the day, but I find it to be a little bit too heavy and greasy and may not work well under makeup. Now, if retinol is something you can't use for some reason, even when it's formula and eye cream, then there's one that I recommend that I think it's super worth the splurge. And it's from Elastic. The restorative eye treatment. This is not cheap. Retails for 85 bucks. Elastin have the same trihex peptide formulation, which has been published in clinical studies to really help improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, crow's feet, puffiness, the changes that we see associated with aging. So great if you are struggling with fine lines and wrinkles because of aging skin. This also contains a blend of antioxidants as well as niacinamide that all work really well together in improving the concerns of dark circles, puffiness, as well as fine lines. Okay, now moving on. If you're looking for mostly an eye cream to help with the dryness and just to plump the eyelid skin around the area because of dryness, then there are two affordable eye creams over the counter that I recommend. Number one is from Neutrogena. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Eye Cream. Retails for about $27. This is from their Hydro Boost line, which I am very much obsessed with. And it's a nice gel cream, contains a blend of of hyaluronic acids and glycerin to essentially just to help draw water to the skin to keep the skin plump and hydrated and nourished. It's also very lightweight so I think it's a great option to use morning and night but specifically in the morning if you suffer from dry flaky eyes and just want to make sure that you don't look dry and flaky throughout the day and also to make sure that your makeup applies nicely over your skin. And if you have more sensitive skin I really like the one from CeraVe, their eye repair that retails for about $11. This contains a blend of ceramides and all of CeraVe's products along with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. So it will help to brighten, help to repair the skin around the, you know, the delicate skin around the eyes, but also helps to hydrate and plump. So it's one of those where I really recommend if you have really sensitive skin, but want to have a specific eye cream to target the dryness and flaking around the eyelid. If hyperpigmentation under the eyes is your concern and you've ruled out other medical causes, then certainly 
a brightening eye cream may be beneficial. And there are a few that I really like. One is from Ole Hendrickson, their Banana Bright Eye Cream. This retails for $40. It contains DHT ascorbate, so a liposoluble vitamin C that is very potent, works really well, especially for like sensitive skin. So great for the eyelid area. Also contains a blend of antioxidants and their banana powder that essentially gives the eye cream a tint, but when you apply it, it gives the skin an instant brightness that helps to camouflage the hyperpigmentation and darkness and kind of instantly brightens the skin. So not only are you working on improving the hyperpigmentation with that vitamin C, but you are getting a temporary instant brightness with that banana powder from the eye cream itself with that little tint. I also love it because with the formulation, it's nourishing, hydrating, but not super heavy. So it actually works really well under concealer and under makeup. Another Another one that I think is really nice, Color Science Total Eye 3 in 1 Renewal Therapy. So, this actually contains SPF 35 and it's purely mineral based on uh, zinc and titanium and it's tinted. And I love this for a few reasons. This retails for about $74. So, again, not cheap, but certainly I think worth the splurge. I like it for a few reasons. Number one, it's got this metal tip applicator. I actually am a big fan of using metal tip applicators in the morning when they're on my eye cream mostly because that metal tip helps to massage that massage itself can improve the circulation and the flow and improve the congestion around the eyelid that may be contributing to puffiness too often the metal tip will feel cool on contact so that causes instant vasoconstriction that can again help to reduce that puffiness and three this has in addition to spf other active ingredients including algae and marine extracts antioxidants as well as plant derived hyaluronic acid that helps to target fine lines, wrinkles, puffiness, and dark circles. And because it's tinted, it actually gives this instant glow again that helps to brighten the skin and goes really nicely under makeup. And you're getting that sun protection that you need. Now, as I mentioned, I love creams with rollers in the morning. And one that is very affordable that I really like is from Garnier. Garnier is clearly brighter anti-puff eye roller. This retails for roughly like 13 to 15 bucks that contains vitamin and C, mint and caffeine, and a roller that you can just literally massage your eyelid in the morning to help reduce puffiness. That vitamin C helps to brighten. And caffeine is one of the ingredients that we didn't really mention earlier, but is great at vasoconstricting. So reducing, shrinking down the blood vessels that often contribute to puffiness. And hopefully with the massage too, you are at the same time improving the circulation. I love putting this in the fridge and taking it out in the morning, just rolling it under my eye, around my eye, and it will instantly help to reduce that puffy look. All right, guys, so those are some of my favorite eye creams. And just remember, like the rest of our face, gentle cleansing, moisturizing, and sun protection is still really going to be the foundation when it comes to taking care of skin around your eyelid. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And also, if you would like, let me know in the comment below, but I can make a subsequent video about causes of hyperpigmentation in dark circles and kind of what are the things that you can do, whether it's things at home or in office procedures procedurally that can help to address those concerns. You can find more of me on social media and I will see you guys next time. Bye!